Chinese warplanes inside Taiwan's Air Defense Identification Zone, ADIZ, this week sparked fear on the island, with the Taiwanese military activating its air defense missile system in response. Chinese warplanes violated Taiwan's Air Defense Identification Zone, ADIZ, for the fourth time this month alone. The incursion set off alarms, with the Taiwanese military responding by launching aircraft and activating its air defense missile system. Taiwan also broadcast radio warnings to the Chinese aircraft, amid growing fears of an imminent invasion from Beijing. Following the encounter, Taiwan called the incursion from the People's Liberation Army's PLA, Air Force unnecessary and thoughtless. According to the Taiwan Ministry of National Defense MND, a PLA Shangxi Y-8 electronic warfare plane flew into the southwest corner of Taiwan's Adiz on Thursday. In recent months, Beijing has regularly sent planes into Taiwan's ADIZ, amid growing tensions with the self-ruled island. Beijing claims full sovereignty over Taiwan, even though the two sides have been governed separately for more than 70 years. China has warned that the island is an inalienable part of the country and seeking independence would result in full-scale war. The Chinese Communist Party has vowed to take Taiwan back by force if necessary. As recently as June, Chinese leader Xi Jinping pledged to complete reunification with self-ruled Taiwan. However, the administration in Taipei has maintained that it remains an independent nation. Tensions again flared earlier in the week when Japan confirmed it would defend Taiwan alongside the U.S. if China launched an invasion. Japanese Deputy Prime Minister Taro also warned that if Taiwan fell to the Chinese, the Japanese city of Okinawa could be next. He said, if a major problem took place in Taiwan, it would not be too much to say that it could relate to a survival-threatening situation for Japan. The threat of China invading Taiwan is growing every day. What the U.S. can do to stop it? The Chinese military has already begun gray zone operations. An all-out attack on Taiwan looms if Beijing continues to escalate. In his speech celebrating the Chinese Communist Party's 100th anniversary last week, Chairman Xi Jinping proclaimed that China has never bullied or oppressed the people of any other country. Yet that is exactly what Beijing is doing to Taiwan, and its intensifying aggression toward the democratic island is increasingly raising concerns that it will try to take it by force. For years, world leaders have been hesitant to respond to China's military aggression in the region. But Beijing's escalating rhetoric and military developments are pushing Washington and its allies to work together in ways never done before, such as the joint U.S.-Japanese military planning for a conflict with China over Taiwan. Just Monday, Japanese Deputy Prime Minister Taro also declared that in the case of an attack on Taiwan, Japan and the U.S. must defend Taiwan together. Unifying Taiwan by force as a Chinese policy has existed since Chairman Mao Zedong coined the term. Though the onset of the Korean War spared Taiwan such a fate at that time, China's unfulfilled aspirations continue to haunt the Communist Party. In recent years, she has tied the annexation of Taiwan, which split from the Chinese mainland amid civil war in 1949, to his China dream for the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. In the eyes of Communist Party elites, unifying Taiwan is the final piece in making China great again. The Communist Party now controls the most powerful military in Asia, the People's Liberation Army, and Beijing's increasing sense of urgency to annex Taiwan is evident in major changes to its military posture. Beijing understands that the United States is the most significant obstacle to its conquest of Taiwan and has transformed its force to specifically offset U.S. operational advantages in the Pacific theater. To this end, the Chinese military has developed anti-ship ballistic missiles, attack submarines, and an array of air and naval platforms for conducting saturation attacks to overwhelm enemies, all supported by space-based systems that make it more integrated and lethal. Taken together, China's emergence as a near-peer military competitor to the United States represents the single greatest strategic challenge facing Washington. The pace and intensity of China's military modernization seem to have caught American leaders by surprise. 
This is perhaps less due to Beijing's mastery at concealing its efforts and more to Washington's complacent neglect of the Communist Party's ambitious pursuit of national rejuvenation as a means to challenge the American-led, post-Cold War world order.